<laughs> so we're back in South Herefordshire with Mark Wood on a, a lovely day, although I understand, Mark, that you have had quite a bit of rain recently, and I'm wondering what that's done to the crops. Well, up to a week ago, we were quite desperate for rain. Uh, it was severe stress, as you can see in the crops. And then from last Thursday through till now, we've had some good rain uh, every day, uh, which has just been an absolute saving grace. Uh, it's held up the tea two timings uh, mm. with the weather, but uh, we managed to start getting spraying yesterday. And um, we're covering the ground quite nicely. And uh, I think it's just about the right timings. OK. And your, your T2 strategy, are you doing different things on different varieties as you did at T1? Or have you changed that policy? At T2, we're having more of a, a blanket approach um, ac across. We've managed to, with a bit of tinkering at T1, right. save some money. So I think right. we can justify it. The rain we had last week has given these crops a potential. Um, and I don't know what's going to happen the next couple of weeks weather-wise, but uh, right. if it is anywhere near, we've got the chance of uh, still some relatively good yields. OK. And um, Andrew Goodenson from Hutchinson's. Um, Mark's T2s, I believe, they're based on the newest SDHI chemistry. Can you explain the reasoning for that? Yes. Um, as Mark said earlier, we saved some money at, um, at T1, looking to cover this the main time um, with the protection and eradication of septoria. The septoria has been moving up the plant. Right. Uh, we need to protect the top of the crop. The flag leaf is a solar panel for, for, the, for the yield and for the ear, and we need to be robust enough to plan for what's going to happen going forward. We've used the, one of the newest fungicides um, with a view to having some kickback if septoria has been um, moving up the plant, and also to give us the persistence on through. Uh, we don't know what the weather's going to do forward, the rain has helped the crops green up a lot and has moved, moved diseases around. Mildew has dropped back, so we don't need to concentrate on that. We've got no yellow rust on the farm, so we're looking for maximum protection and um, looking at this as our main spend. Great. And Richard Overthrow from Niab Tag, um, just how much kickback can um, Mark and Andrew expect from some of these new SDHI products? Well, at a fairly robust doses, you can get a week, 10 days kickback, which I think is the most that uh, most growers are going to need. Um, right. The disease levels in crops are, are not excessive. Most fungicide programs have kept the top three leaves fairly clean. Okay. Um, and uh, the issue now, of course, is that we've got flag leaf spraying to do on a flag leaf that's been rained on. So we are looking right. at looking for kickback. Right, so we need to be very timely with these sprays. Get on fairly soon and using fairly robust doses to, to, to get that eradication if we're not going to see lesions coming out on the flag leaves. Right, and should we be adding anything to these sprays? Um, you know, a multi-site protectant, for example? I think at the moment, as we're so close to, to the rainfall, there's still a benefit from a multi-site um, okay. uh, chlorothanol type product. But right. if you are looking for significant kickback, say if you are up to a week late, the flag leaf has been out and infected for a week before you can get on, there is evidence that it might the, the chlorothalonil might slow down that kickback, so you would leave it out in that situation. It just depends how, how late you perceive your spray to be going on. Right, and so what we're seeing here today is fairly typical of what you're seeing in, in the area, no huge concerns providing people no, are on time. And no, as Andrew said, there's bits of mildew around, but that's staying down in the base. Um, leaf four is showing some septoria lesions. We'd expect that now. The important thing is that the top three leaves are remaining fairly clean. So. So fingers crossed for, for some, some, hopefully, some decent yield potential. Good.